Hello, ponderers of Magic the Gathering lore. Just got done watching Fantasy Geographic, great episode, about the story that was written versus the story that was portrayed in the cards. So a shout out to him. It shows that Nisa was probably completed way before she was in the written story because Elish Norn used her to create the conduit to the worlds from the world tree, and that Jace was probably completed sooner in that he had appendages coming off of him like the Dominus, the blue Dominus, and that the Domini were probably gods that were completed by the Phyrexians, and the written story doesn't go into that at all. And also that probably originally um, Phyrexia was supposed to be destroyed because it seems to show Elspeth being unmade by the Silex. And the black and white cards for the different characters, um, Elish Norn, um, Venser, and three of the others um, appear to be being unmade in the cards. Now, I'm not sure if I see that. In some of them, it does look like they're being unmade. Um, but what he says is that that's the typical way they show somebody dying and being unmade in comic books. And it's definitely comic book art. So um, probably right about that. So maybe, possibly, this was supposed to end with the Silex in this thing. But then, if that's true, I think they announced March of the Machines at the same time as Phyrexia All Will Be One. And then what would the March of the Machines be if not Phyrexia, if Phyrexia was destroyed? Now, it's possible that it's the Mirans, because they are machines, but... They would probably be destroyed also, um, unless somehow they were protected. Um, he also shows that Thrun may have opened up the opening between the different layers that uh, the Planeswalkers went through. Uh, it shows more of a story for the Black Vampire and also for Urabrask, the Red Praetor. Uh, it shows that maybe they may have been involved more in the story than what uh, was written. So it's a very interesting, definitely watch it. You know, don't just only watch me and everything. But uh, I guess maybe Phyrexia is going to be defeated in this next set. March of the Machines, because then we go on to Eldraine, and it's called the Wilds of Eldraine, and I don't know how that would fit in with the story of the Phyrexians. Maybe it does. But uh, thanks for listening. Um, have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, lovers of lore.